Hey, what a do, baby boo. Um, let's just crack straight into it. I am super fucking excited to do this video. And the reason why I'm excited to do this video is because anybody who's watching this, who is a low elo jungler and you're looking to make that transition from low elo to high elo, um, this is what's going to hopefully do it. I don't want to make any um, too many false promises, but this is what's going to do it. Um, and I'll just lay some context. I was um, watching my one of my clients' um, replays, and I was reviewing it, and this is the epiphany that I had um, after watching it. Um, let's just crack trade into it. Every single game that you play in League of Legends is completely different, okay? You could um, jump to one game, and you have a you know, a late game comp, maybe you have like Ari or, or I don't know, fucking Ari, you have Vayne, you have, you know, all these late game champs. And the next game you have, you know, the early game champs like Lee Sin, or maybe you're playing Kha'Zix or something, you know. Every single game, what I'm trying to say is every single game of League of Legends is different. And what applies to game A doesn't necessarily, and in most cases it doesn't at all, apply to game B. With that being said, if you have a specific set, set of strategies that you're using, you can't go into game A, apply that set of strategies, you win the game, you can't apply to, you can't expect, sorry, to pl apply this same set of strat strategies that you applied to game A and apply that to game B and win the game. You can't expect that. You could do the exact same thing that you did in game A, apply it to this one, and you lose the game, okay? And this brings me to my 2C formula. I'm coining it as my 2C formula, and it's called context versus content. Okay? Um, and this is what separates the high elo people from the low elo people. The high elo people, they have this grand, quote unquote, grand understanding. They can see the bigger picture. Whereas the low elo people ask you questions like, how do I balance ganking plus farming? They're two opposite things. How do I, you know, they ask you, they ask you questions for a specific instance, um, you know, how do I do this and this? And it's like, well, it changes. It's it's circumstantial, if that's the word. It's um, it's dependent on the situation. It's situational. But they don't understand that. You know, they don't have the 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 step back view of being able to understand the context and what content fits that particular situation. Um, and just before I crack into this gameplay, um, I'm going to give this as an example. Um. Let's say you're talking to a chick, okay, and you're vibing with her, and you're just being yourself, and you're cracking up, and you're making fun of her, and you're making her laugh or some shit, and she's just fucking soaking it up, bro, and legit, like, she's just legit, like, she's just, she, like, that's how, you know, some dating people, um, uh, explain it, they just, you have their full attention, they can't take their eyes off you, and you're just making her laugh, and then you can tell they find you attractive, and they're just digging your vibes, and they fucking love you. You could go up to girl B. Completely different chick, but you could do the exact same stuff that you were doing, and you were, you thought it was hilarious, and you're just being yourself, and she fucking hates you, bro. She hates you so much, she tells you to piss off, she pours a drink in your face, she tells you, she gets all her friends on you, and she's like, oh, look at this little asshole, and they start slapping you, and you're just like, what? I was just, I'm just being me. It's the same exact principle. It's content versus context. The context was that the chick, this chick happens to like the content that you're offering. This chick on the left happens to like the content that you're offering. You're just being yourself. The context completely changed. It went to a different chick. You're being yourself, but it, the um, result was different because of the context. So, what I'm trying to get at is that if you understand the context of the situation, you will know the content or the weapons or the strategies or the tactics to apply to that particular context to get a result that you want. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I know that's a fucking mouthful and it's really hard to explain, but I'm going to move into this gameplay and hopefully it will... Um, Hopefully it will help you out. If we look at uh, the matchups on this one, on this game, um, there isn't necessarily any kill potential top because Malzaha has no CC. So we're laying the context now, okay? Um, the My client was Ivan, who isn't an early game jungler. I mean, like, he doesn't go for ganks. He's not, you know, doesn't do a lot of damage early game. He's more about counter jungling, you know, warding up for your, for your lanes, um, providing utility for your laners, okay? If we look at bot lane, these guys are just going to dick this guy because it's Draven and Soraka and they're just not going to be able to, because of the dynamics of the champions, Draven's early game's ruthless, Soraka's just going to heal him, Draven's just going to fucking bang, bang, bang. He's going to get the butt, okay? Um, Ivan does the classic 3 buff, bang, bang, bang. If we look at Gragas, I'm guessing he started bot side, he's going to do bang, 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 okay? Gets the 3 buff, starts farming, blah, blah, blah. 
At this point, we have to ask ourselves the question, where is Gragas? This is just basic jungle knowledge. Um, and if Gragas did a typical start, like, you know, did a camp there, 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 um, he'll be on the top side of the map, okay? Um, if he's on the top side of the map, see, we're still setting the context. If he's on the top side of the map, um, there's two ganks possible, okay? Um, which is mid and top. Uh, top is possible, but it's, you know, Malzahar's playing quite safe, so I don't think Gragas will go for it. And if he does go for it, Malzahar will just walk away, okay? So that leaves mid lane, okay? So let's go through this game, we're laying the context. If he's on the top side of the map, there's only two lanes that's possible for ganking. So it's a process of elimination, so you look top. Yes, he's really low, but Malzahar's playing really safe, so I don't think Gragas will go for that. Uh, Ari, on the other hand, isn't playing as safe. She's a bit low as well, you know, she's losing some health. And so if there's any, especially now, she's half health. So if there's any lane that Gragas will gank, it will most likely be top lane. Also considering the fact that Malzahar is pushing in the lane so that he can go back to base and so that he doesn't get ganked by um, Ivan. So ideally, what Ivan would do is ping these two laners um, to play safe. Right? At this point, the wave's pushed up. The gank from uh, Gragas is completely gone now. There's no chance that he's going to gank. Like, look, he wards this. He's not top. So that means that if Gragas is on the top side of the map and he's not over here, he's either farming or he's going to gank mid. Okay? Because of that situation, what we do to provide safety for Gragas, sorry, provide safety for Ari, is to ping mid lane. I'm going to show you how this all works out. So go for a counter gank, blah, blah, blah. All this shit happens. Ivan's super low from this counter gank, and now he tries to pull off a gank bot. If we look with... Now this is what a low elo person would do. They say, okay, the gank is, is there. They're pushed up. And they're just focused specifically on the content, which is the gank, the thing that they're doing. They're like, okay, they're, yeah, they're, they're pushed up. That means I can go for a gank. The, like, the gank, if you, if, you, if you look at it, it's like, yeah, they're, they're pushed up. Like, that's all, the, that's all the, the factors that they consider, low elo people consider when they, um, when they go for a gank. I don't want to get this rid of the stupid Draven Axe sound. But there are so many more aspects that you need to consider when you lay the context. And when you, when you fucking get this context sussed, you'll understand, okay, this, I can go for a gank or I can't go for a gank. You'll understand which weapon or tactical strategy that you want to use and if it fits that particular context. Let's look at it. It's Draven. It's Soraka. All of these bitches are on like half health. When I look at this, I see, yeah, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. If this bitch goes in, they can just kite you. Soraka might be able to take some damage. Um, then she'll go on the back line. Then Draven will be full health. He'll just be kiting these bitches. They're low enough health that these guys can 2v3. Plus, if they fight within their menu wave, it's like a guarantee that he's gonna thing. So I just set the context, but low elo people don't see that, okay? You guys don't see that. Because you're too focused on the move. You're too focused on the gank itself rather than laying the context before you put that move into the con... I don't fucking know what I'm talking about, bro. Okay? So, essentially, he goes for it and exactly what I said happens. Bang, 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 bang. He kites him. He almost gets a double kill, even. While this happens, um, this obviously means if Gragas is a good jungler, he'll say, he'll say okay, um, bot lane. If Gragas is a good jungler, he'll be like, um, I can gank either top or mid, okay? Because if Gragas was bot, he would have been here for the counter gank. Um, and since he's not here for the counter gank, that means he's either top or mid. If we look at the top or mid lanes, okay? He's not going to gank top because this guy's going back. That means that the only person left to gank is mid lane. Little do you know, I said all of this before it happened. Little did you know, Gragas ganked mid. And got the kill. This is the importance. I know this was, well, no, nine minutes. That's not that long. This is the importance of the 2C formula. That's what I'm coining it as, okay? The 2C formula. Context versus content. If you're the type of person who, who doesn't know, like, how to balance this ganking or farming thing, it's because you don't understand the context of the situation. Exactly the same process as before. This dude thought that because these these guys were pushed up that they can go for a gank. Not only that, that's just content, okay? Not only that, but he didn't take into factor that Ivan isn't even a, even like a strong early game um, damage jungler in the first place, which is ignoring the context of the um, champion. You know, he's utility. He's not for early game game damage. I hope this is making sense, okay? So. How, let's go for the takeaway, like a, what, what you can take away from this video. Before doing anything, like ganking or farming or do any of these specific tactics or these actionable moves that you do, ganking, farming, objective control, 
Look at the context. It's the same with the Baron. Can we take Baron? You know, um, you have to lay the context first. Okay, maybe there's two people bot side, or maybe these guys went back. So you look at the situation, you step back, you look at it, and then you adjust, okay? Step back, look at the situation, ask yourself, is this move that I'm about to do apply applicable to this context, to this situation that I'm going to play it in? Um, ask yourself that question, and I'm... Hopefully you'll see way more fucking better elo gains. This is legit the best like video that I've made. It's 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 the I've actually like got it down in my head now. Why people ask so many like in my opinion stupid questions, but it's because they don't understand the context of the situation. Um, so when it comes to context, champions mechanics, also you know other factors like health, um, yeah, champion dynamics mid if they're early game or a late game champion, um, you know. All that shit. Have a good day. I love you. Stay beautiful. Shana Docs.